Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the the topic viroids. Viroids are commonly known as a primitive viruses. It is firstly described into the potato uh, potato spindle uh, disease or potato spindle virus as a PSTV. Potato spindle tuber viruses by the Theodore Otto Diner. The spe specific scientist of the name of the scientist they can describe the viroid that is a Theodore Otto. Diner. The Theodore Otto Diner firstly described the viroids in case of the plant pathogenic plant uh, in case of the plant diseases that is a potato spindle tuber virus a PSTV. So the viroids are why it is considered as a primitive viruses because they have no any specific types of the capsid or no any specific types of the envelopes are present only the specific single standard RNA it is act as an, a pathogen so it is considered as a viroids. So it is mostly plant pathogens. Most of the viroids are plant pathogens. It consists solely of small single standard circular RNA molecule having 250 to 370 nucleotides long. It is a short segment of the RNA, but it is a pathogenic. They have no any, they, they can't consist any capsid or envelope. The RNA of viroid doesn't encode any gene product. RNA viroid doesn't encode any gene product. They have the specific, not any specific types of the gene products are present in it. So they can't replicate themselves. It is because of this deficiency, it is unable to replicate. Then they adopt the host RNA polymerase 2. They adopt the host RNA polymerase 2, which is synthesized a negative RNA stand. And then it is served as a template for the synthesis of the other viroid RNAs. In this specific concept is that they adopt the host RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase 2, it is specific enzyme or important enzyme required for the RNA synthesis of RNA. So these, the specific, they firstly they will be adopt the host RNA polymerase which synthesize the negative strand. The, it is a specific, when the initial one it is a positive sense RNA, then on the basis of this they will be synthesized the negative RNA strand uh, and this negative RNA strand it is act as a complementary strand to synthesize the new RNA or new positive sense RNA. Then it is served as a template for this of the other viroids RNA and they will be synthesis, they will be complete their synthesis. They have no any specific protein code. Initially I have to discuss they have no any capsid like a protein code. Then what is the mode of replication of viroids? Viroid it is a viral genome. The specific of the viral genome or the viroid genome they have, it is a single standard RNA. Single standard RNA it is mostly circular. When they will be enters into the specific host cell, then the specific they will be a specific single standard RNA. They will be insert their genome into the host genome. It is a host RNA polymerase two. By using this host RNA polymerase two, they can uh, form a rolling circle model. And ro after the formation of rolling, uh, after the formation of rolling circle model, they will be on the basis of this specific uh, the it is a host RNA polymerase. The uh, when uh, this host RNA polymerase they will be bind to the specific complementary strand that is a viroid genome and they can synthesize the new strand of the RNA. On the basis of this new strand of RNA they will be synthesized the new viroid genome or new viroid RNA that is a and after the uh, synthesis of gene the, after the synthesis of this specific RNA genome the cell cleavage is takes place and then linear antigenomic RNA concatamer. Con this, this concatamer is a linear antigenomic RNA and this linear antigenomic RNA this is act as a viroid antigenome viroid antigen after this specific viroid antigenome the host RNA polymerase further it will be synthesized the new strand and this specific linear RNA genome it is an original one and then they will be further move, moved into the next uninfected cell in this specific diagram it is clear that it is a specific viroid genome enter into the specific host cell when it enter into inside the cell at that time they by using host RNA polymerase 2 they will be synthesized the new antigenomic RNA concatamer it is a negative sense it, it is only act or it is a the role of the specific RNA it is a short term role when it is act as a complementary to the specific genome of the initial the genome of the viroid and then they will be synthesized the new RNA and this a new RNA uh, synthesized on the basis of the antigenome. This antigenome act as a complementary for the synthesis of the viroid genome. And after the synthesis of the viroid genome, this linear genomic RNA it is in further infected to the next uninfected cell. It is about the replication of viroids. 
you know how the how it will be transmitted from the one cell to another cell or an infect, infected cell to uninfected cell so viral infections are transmitted by cross contamination following the mechanical damage to the plant as a result of horticulture or agriculture practices it is the same like a uh, 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 plant viruses it is also enters through the specific types of the natural openings or through the specific types of the con uh, con uh, contamination uh, following by the mechanical damages so mechanical damages like uh, uh, because of the agriculture practices also because of the insects by the number of insect they can cause the uh, damage or they can create the entry on the uninfected plant and by, through this way they will be enter into the specific uninfected cell some transmitted by uh, aphids and they can they can also be transferred from the plant to plant by the leaf contact also through the leaf contact they will be enters into the from one plant to the another plant and they will be enter mostly up through the specific natural opening that is a stomata so different types of the diseases are caused by the viroids are viroid cause near about the 20 different plant diseases of which the most studied are that is a potato spindle tuber disease that is a yeah, and the specific virus or viroid that is a potato spindle tuber viroid that is a pstv the chrysanthemum stunt disease or the specific uh, potato spindle tuber disease like this it is thick and form in number of potatoes they have we have to observe that it is a pstv and pstv it is a specific viroid caused disease and also crescent anthem stunt disease that is a tuber like or the specific uh, tubers are formed on the uh, not it is a tubers it is a gall like structure or uh, form on the uh, lower surface of the chrysanthemum uh, chrysanthemum uh, plants so it is about the specific diseases of viruses potato spindle tuber disease it is a firstly disease caused or firstly studied disease or that is a potato spindle tuber disease so firstly viruses are described in case of the potato disease it is about the viruses so viruses these are the plant pathogens mostly they are they can carry the it can't carry the a capsid and envelope they have the single stranded rna as a genome it is a small circular RNA molecule they will be enter into the host cell and using by using RNA polymerase 2 they will be replicate their genome. So then it will be uh, after the replication they can uh, transmit from the one plant to the another plant and then there's different types of the diseases like a potato spindle tuber disease and chrysanthemum stunt disease they are the two examples of viral diseases. So it is about the viroids. So thank you. Thank you very much.